Looks like Samsung fans might need a bit more patience this time. The much-awaited Galaxy S26 series isn't coming as soon as everyone expected, and recent leaks suggest we're in for a delay that's longer than usual for a Samsung flagship. While the company hasn't confirmed anything yet, several trusted sources claim the Galaxy S26 lineup has been pushed back by almost two months, moving its launch window from January to around March 2026. Now, Samsung usually sticks to a consistent release cycle. So this sudden change has caught everyone's attention. What's really going on behind the scenes? From what reports indicate, it's not just one reason but a mix of new strategies, design changes, and advanced chip production challenges that have caused this unexpected delay. Let's start with the design lineup. Remember the Galaxy S25 Edge? Samsung tried to bring something new with that model, but it didn't quite win people over. Sales were lower than expected and user feedback was lukewarm. Because of that, Samsung has reportedly decided to scrap the upcoming Galaxy S26 Edge completely. Instead, the company seems to be focusing all its energy on the Galaxy S26 and S26 Ultra, the models that truly drive flagship sales, but design isn't the only thing Samsung is rethinking. The biggest reason for the delay might be what's inside the phone, the processor. Samsung is reportedly planning a major shift by introducing its new 2 nanometer Exynos 2600 chip across the S26 lineup. This new chip is expected to replace Qualcomm's Snapdragon processors in most regions, and that's a big move. If everything goes according to plan, the Galaxy S26 Ultra could be powered by an Exynos chip for the first time in about four years. That shows Samsung's growing confidence in its chip-making division, which has struggled in the past with issues like heating and performance drops. But manufacturing to nanometer chips is extremely complex. Even a tiny flaw in production can cause massive delays. So Samsung likely wants to make sure everything runs perfectly before releasing the phones to millions of users worldwide. After all, a bad chip launch could hurt the company's image far more in a short delay, there's also talk that Samsung might go all in on Exynos next year, dropping Snapdragon entirely from the Galaxy S26 lineup. That would be a bold decision, one that could save money in the long term, but also risk upsetting some loyal fans. Many users still prefer Snapdragon for its reliability and consistent performance. So if Samsung really makes that switch globally, It'll be interesting to see how people respond. Another key point is how this delay affects Samsung's overall release schedule. If the S26 series arrives in March 2026, other upcoming devices like the Galaxy Z Flip 8 and Z Fold 8 could also get pushed back. That could make Samsung's foldables launch closer to Apple's rumored foldable iPhone release, which would heat up the competition even more next year. Speaking of Apple, this delay might give them a small advantage. If Apple launches the iPhone 18 and iPhone 18e before March, it could beat Samsung to the market for the first time in years. That timing shift might help Apple grab more attention before Samsung's big reveal. But here's the positive side. A delay doesn't always mean bad news. In fact, it could be exactly what Samsung needs. The company might be using this extra time to polish its new hardware, fix any early production issues, and make sure the new Exynos 2600 performs as promised. We've seen in the past how rushing a major flagship release can lead to overheating problems, software glitches, or battery drain complaints. This time, Samsung might be playing it smart, taking its time to get everything right before launch. So yes, the wait might be a little longer, but if that means we get a more refined, powerful, and better optimized Galaxy S to 6 series, it's probably worth it. After all, Samsung is preparing to take a big leap forward, new design focus, a new chip, and possibly a whole new release strategy. What do you think? Would you mind waiting a bit longer if it means getting a better phone in the end? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for all the latest updates on Samsung's upcoming Galaxy S26 series.